The United States reaffirmed its view that the solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict was two states, side by side, with peace and security for all. At the heart uh, of all of this is an ongoing, enduring commitment to the uh, basic principle of the two-state solution. That's what U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken told Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in the city of Ramallah on Sunday. Blinken is visiting Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories ahead of a rare summit between Israeli and Arab representatives from Morocco, Bahrain, and the United Arab Emirates. Significant diplomatic strides under the Abraham Accords normalized relations between Israel and several Arab nations. But peace talks between Israel and Palestinian representatives have stalled. Abbas made clear that Palestinian demands have not changed. We stress that it is important for President Biden's administration to abide by the two-state solution, stop settlement activity and the violence by settlers, preserve the historic status quo in Al-Aqsa, prevent unilateral action, and also reopen the U.S. consulate in Jerusalem. The run-up to the summit has been marred by recent violence. Two Arab gunmen were shot and killed on Sunday after opening fire and killing two police officers in the Israeli city of Hadera. A car and knife attack in Beersheba last week left four dead.